Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good and enjoying the Microsoft Build 2024. So there are a lot many features which came up. There are a lot many enhancements. There are features which were in preview earlier but are in GA. So it means that we can use those features in the production. There are a few things which were introduced recently like the Phi 3 with the Vision. So you can go ahead and experiment that as well. There are a lot many things which are uh, like added as an enhancement to Azure AI search. We can integrate the Azure AI search with Fabric. And in fact, there are a lot many things. So I have already created a short video with those few highlights. So I would recommend you to go and check that short and you will get a pretty much good idea about what is happening around. But among all those features, the one feature which I like the most and it could be very useful for you as well is the Copilot in Azure. So we are working on Azure portal day in and out and we do have to go here and there to identify like which resource I am consuming, how much I am paying. So all these things are sorted with Copilot. So this particular feature is still in preview and I'm going to show you how can you use Copilot in your Azure portal. So let's check it out. So I'm on my Azure portal and now you can see on the top there is a Copilot button. So let's click on that and it will open up a beautiful left hand side window which you must have already seen in other Microsoft products. So what we can do is using this co-pilot we are going to ask few questions. So let's say the first question is about our billing information. So I would say can you forecast my consumption for uh, next one month and let's say what it has to say so if you are doing this activity or using the copilot for the very first time then it will ask you to select the subscription like which subscription do you want to ask these queries against so in my case, I have already done that, so it is not asking me. But if you are doing it for the very first time, then it will ask you to set the scope. So now it is saying that this is my current scope. I, I mean, this is the my subscription basically. So whatever the queries I am executing, it will be in the same scope. So here you can see it is saying you are in the subscription and based on the available data, the forecasted cost for the subscription from 1st May to 31st is something around 5467 in INR. And this is how I can get this. So rather than my, me myself going and calculating and then estimating, Copilot is here for me to take care of it. Now let's talk about the resources, like which resource I am using most or so for that, I can quickly type a question. Which region? Like I want to know which region I'm using the most, whether it is East US, West US or whatever it is. So for that, I can say which region I'm using most of the time for crafting my resources. So I am using most of the time for crafting or creating you can use any word creating or provisioning also you can use because that is that sets more better context in uh, terms of Azure so which reason I'm using most of the time for creating resources so it should come up with the resources as per me it should be either West US or East US West US 2 or East US so let's see what it has. So it is also telling you the intermediate steps it is taking. So this is how the assistants work as we have seen in earlier videos. So this is the query it is using and if you want to execute this query, you can click and definitely execute it by yourself. But let's wait for the response and then I will show you this part as well. So it is going to take few seconds okay so based on the data it is saying that west us2 is the one in which i'm creating most of my resources so as of now total 18 resources i have created in west us2 
So you can see how easy it is to query rather than you yourself going and checking all the things. And apart from that, the interesting thing is here it is also showing you some relevant questions which you would like to ask. So what resources I have created in US2 or show me the cost breakdown by my reason. So how can I create resource in different reasons? So let me see this one. Show me the cost breakdown and it should come up with the response. So mean, okay, cool. So this is what we have. This is the summary it has provided that which resource I have used and how much I'm paying for that and the total number of charges. So 93% I'm paying for the US East. Okay, so next thing I'm going to show you is this query. So like I said, this is the query written in Kusto. You can execute it directly in your Kusto uh, Explorer or Azure Data Explorer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this run. And here you can see it opens up the Azure Resource Graph Explorer. And if I'm executing this, it will tell me that the answer is West US 2, 18. And the same response it is getting, it means it is not deciding anything randomly, rather it is actually querying our resources and getting the responses. Let me remove this take one and we'll see what all the resources I have created. So these are the various regions in which I have created my resources. You can click on this and definitely navigate to, the uh, navigate to further details. So that's all I have for today. And I hope you got an idea how you can utilize this Copilot in Microsoft Azure. I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching.